on the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Illinois' offense will take the first swing of the game. And here's the man they'll try to feed the football to no matter what the coverage looks like, Jesse. He's their best player on offense, and I like the way this coaching staff moves him around and tries to create good matchups to take advantage of, David. And that makes it so hard to defend. When a receiver lines up in the same spot every time, I can bring extra coverage. Man, use this guy all over the field as a weapon of mass destruction. Illinois right back to the line. They go to the ground. Steam rolls his way ahead. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. He'll have the first down as he gets it to the 28-yard line before he stops. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. Pulls it and fires to the left. I love early in the game getting my quarterback in the ground. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. They'll try to snap it quickly. Hand off to the single running back. They'll get him on the ground, but not before Illinois picks up the first down. You gotta have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. Illinois moving it quickly down the field. They'll give it to him again. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Back to pass. It's Altmaier. Complete. Stopped at the 46-yard line, but give him 10 yards and the first down. Hey, man, if you're going to make plays like that on slant throws, you got to be able to make catches in traffic. Good, strong hands by the wide out there on the slant. Illinois picked up the first down. Now here they come again. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wide out. Find space on the right. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup. He went for it. He attacked it. Got the positive gain. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Illinois lining up quickly. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They're trying to run the ball on first down, guys, but just nothing doing up front. Their offensive line got blown up on that play. There was nowhere for that guy to go. After that last loss, it's second and 12. The RPO, fire complete to the left. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. 
I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Looking downfield, it's Altmeyer. They'll run the screen. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. I like the running back there on the route, the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. Inside the 15, first and 10 from the 14. And off from the shotgun. Pushes and picks his way ahead for six yards. He's down at the eight. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. Just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The lone back's got it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Pressure coming. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. The kicker will reach for a 36-yard attempt. Between the uprights, it's good. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. team out there to send it away he'll bring it out it's Morgan didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage and he'll be stopped at the 17 so the Michigan Wolverines offense will have its first possession of the game and you'd better be sharp throwing the football to the outside Jesse because both of these teams have lock up corners and they're really good at baiting you into throwing their way as well. You've got to be careful. And, David, I like these guys, too, because they're not afraid to get their face in the fan and support the run game. No doubt. And it's fun because when you're a defense and you can shut down half the field, you can do so many different things to give other guys help because you trust these guys on an island outside. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll pull it on the read. Quarterback gets enough. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. There's an example of the offense taking advantage of all the attention the defense is giving this outstanding running back. Remember, he's one of the best in the game. They're expecting him to get the football. So the quarterback says, you know what? I'll just keep it. No one's keying on me. I'm going to get upfield and find an explosive play. Running back searching for a hole. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. 
creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Third down after the run. Now they'll run the draw. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. And you can see why it's so tricky for a defense to have to stop these draw plays. Everything the offense is doing is telling you pass. The quarterback, the offensive line, the running backs delaying. You've taken your deep drop in coverage, and now you've got to rally and find the football and do it trying to avoid these big 300-pound bodies running at you full speed. Not an enviable task. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They've got him looking wrong, but they're going to throw it. And they get the sack right out of the gate. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Buys a little time. He'll pull it down. At the 35, he's open. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. And the Wolverines will line it up on first and ten. He's going to pass. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. Line getting set on second down. Looking to throw, it's Orgy. Fires to the tight end. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come up. And it's a touchdown. It is also a play in which there is a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. So a little too much contact through the P.I. flag. They'll decline that one and the touchdown stands. Lining up to add another. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. And the returner will be brought down, ready to fire from the pistol. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Finds a tight end. Across the 25, he's got room. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. They'll throw it on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. 
That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. Looking to the big tight end. And that one's incomplete. Well, on that last play, you'd like to see the quarterback be a little bit more accurate and give his guy a chance to make the play. That ball wasn't even close to his intended target's body. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Illinois lining up to punt this one away. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. On the move, it's Morgan. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Now on second down. Dropping back, it's Orgy. He lost it high and deep down the left side. It's him in stride inside the 10. Slippery slide, find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11-point lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Illinois offense returns to the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Palmer. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Looking to go up top on first down. Complete to the left. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. He wants to throw. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Just didn't seem like the quarterback and his intended target were on the same page there. After the incompletion, it's second down. To the air, it's Altmaier. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. And the defense got it. And they'll get him down after a solid return. Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat, and you're going, no, look out for your blind side. Watch out. But that great job rushing the quarterback getting him on the ground and getting the football out a little extra bonus nice job by the defense getting nasty and here comes the michigan offense back on the field that last drive really productive david wound up with a touchdown they'll try to do it again 
Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. From the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Finds his man. It's Loveland. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy. Pass rush gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And it's third down, but they're going to go ahead and try the field goal and try to get points before the break. It is good! And that lead grows even bigger. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside the 10, here he comes. And the returner is stopped. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've been taking in a magnificent scene there today in Champaign. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen and panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. Third quarter will get underway as soon as Illinois kicks it off. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They'll open the second half on the ground. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Power football with the run. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. No fair catches here, looking for room. 
Very little will make a crowd hold its breath like a punt return, and he brought them to their feet on that one. Here's the handoff. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys, and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. And you could tell the defense that everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Illinois right back to the line. On second down, wants to throw it. Catch in the middle, it's Bryant. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And you've seen these curl routes. This is a timing route. Understanding the ball's got to come out of my hand right when he hits the top of that curl. Nice job by the QB finding him. Nice catch. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. He's looking to throw it. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After misfiring, it's second down. They'll try the run, fighting off the defender. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Sticking with the running game and finding enough space to get eight, it leaves them with a fourth and two. They don't seem comfortable with the 50-yard field goal attempt, so they'll lead the offense out to try to get the first down. They'll go with a direct snap. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. You know, you kind of get stuck in no man's land once you get across that 50-yard line where it might be a long field goal, which isn't really, really high percentage. Or do I go for it on fourth down? I like to go for it, personally. I like the aggressiveness. They go for it, and they get the big first down. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, the offensive line had everybody blocked except the defensive end. He was able to sneak into the backfield and get the tackle for loss. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. It'll be a draw. Able to move it ahead a couple of yards, he gets it down to the 20. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well, but if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. I tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, and everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. Already proven reliable. Once he'll try a second field goal, this one a 37-yarder. Never a doubt. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. 
He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Looking for space, it's Edwards. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Give to the running back. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Back to throw, it's Orgy. He's got his man across the middle. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. We've reached the end of the period, and Michigan has the lead. Three quarters are in the books. Time becomes a factor both in trying to hold the lead or cut into it as we take a look at the stats. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. The Wolverines come to the line with a new set of downs. Leaves it with the running back. Nice move to pick up yardage. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Turns it on at midfield. Brought down at the 47-yard line after the 15-yard pickup. I think you have to like what you see if you're the coaching staff here. Your offense is on the field, and it looks like you got a pretty good drive going, and you're just going to try and keep this thing marching, keep the clock ticking. You've got a really nice lead here late. Just want to find ways to keep the chains moving. They're doing that. Looking for a crease. It's Edwards. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he didn't have a whole lot of operating room after the juke, and he stopped for a short game. They've started a pretty good drive. This will be the seventh play, but they need to convert third and five. Looking to pass. It's Orgy. He's got his man. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. Oh, uh, you know, that's one as a quarterback. You've thrown the completion, and you're like, dude, can you just turn around and make one guy miss and go get the first? Or can you just stretch out? and get the first down. You need your guys to have a little bit more awareness where they are in the field on that play. And even though they got the completion, it's not enough to pick up the first. And now you're staring fourth down right in the face. The official says no good. After the miss, the lead still at 11. Here comes the Illini offense back onto the field. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. you got to have a little more urgency and maybe a little more aggressiveness, Jesse. And field goals are not going to get it done down the stretch. Yeah, you're going to have to take some shots, no doubt. Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you've just simply got to make them. Here comes the offense on first and 10 from the 47. He's going to pass. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. 
And the offense sprung a big-time leak, and the quarterback went down. And when you're throwing the football, you're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. They're going to get there. They're pinning their ears back. Get to the QB. Get the sack. Illinois lining up quickly. On second down, they'll take to the air. Unloads to the wideout. Working the middle. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. And these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is field. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. Comes out throwing on first down. Fires to the wide out. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Illinois hoping to pop the cork on this red zone trip. Dropping back, it's Altmaier. Fires into the end zone! And it's caught! Touchdown, fighting Illini! Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, gets you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they can lose this ball game. They'll go for two here and try to climb within a field goal late. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He's got it. Two-point conversion is good, and now they're within a field goal here in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. The give as they work on that clock. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've reached the two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. They'll leave it with him. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays, now to try to throw it in drive on third down. They'll give it to the back. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the Wolverines send out the punt unit. Now, if you're really worried about the block, I guess you could think about taking the safety here in the free kick. Feels the punt and tries to help improve that field position. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Going up top on first down. Coming after it. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. And the quarterback gets hit again. We already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, and certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Honestly, I don't think in this situation of the game, you need to be taking shots that far down the field. You need high percentage throws. You need to be able to play pitch and catch and move this ball down the field, down a possession late to put yourself in an opportunity to win. And that pass picked off. Taking it the other way. At the 20. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Michigan. The 
DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split him out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Coming out with it, it's Bryant. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Illinois offense returns to the field. Wants to throw on first down. Just missed on the connection. Incomplete. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Back to throw. It's Altmaier. They're trying to get to him. And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Catch in the middle, it's Franklin. So important to convert these third downs, and they get it done. They'll have it at the 42. Hey, nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his guy. Trying to get everybody set with the clock still running. And they got to the line expeditiously, spiked it and stopped the clock. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. He's taking the deep shot. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. Nice job by the quarterback. Hey, the defense is going to let your big tight end be wide open like that. You will take that throw all day long, and they do for a big game. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. Quick snap and a spike to stop the clock. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking to throw, it's Altmaier. Getting some heat. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. Just threw that one way too far. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look there. Third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. To the end zone, and it's picked off. 
And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. you got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. Quarterback will take a knee. The defense can stop it one more time, but we are close to being all she wrote. 